Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you five awesome video effects that you can create in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos like these. Leave a like below if you're enjoying these videos, and let's get started. The first effect I'm going to show you guys how to create is this ghosting stop motion blend effect. So in order to begin, let's actually duplicate our original video clip on top of itself. So I'm just going to hold Alt or Option and click drag to make a copy. And we're going to utilize Premiere Pro's layers to blend some things together. So on this second or top layer, let's open up the effects panel and search for one called Posterize Time. This is going to kind of create a stop motion posterization of the time. See in the effects control panel, we can see it pop up and the only option to adjust is the frame rate. So right now it's 24 and the sequence is at 24. So you're not really going to see anything happening. But if I take this down to let's say six, that means it's only going to show six frames every 24 frames, thus creating a bit of stop motion. As you can see, it's cutting out so many frames and it almost looks like it's lagging, but it's not. And a cool thing that we can do is blend this stop motion type of video with the clip underneath by simply going to the opacity section of the effects control and we can adjust the blending mode to be whatever we want. So I can put it on something like screen blending mode, which is kind of going to take the brighter parts of this image and stack them underneath. And if I play that back, we get this very cool stop motion ghosting effect that's following the original image. Almost like we're capturing a f every six frames, we're capturing a snapshot, creating this awesome kind of trippy echo effect. Now there's a lot of things we can do at this point to spice it up. We can lower the opacity if we want. So I don't want to add keyframes, which are turned on by default for the opacity. So I'm going to turn that off and I can just lower the overall opacity to let's say 50 or 60% if I want to make that effect less strong. I can also play around with the timing of the frame rate. So if I wanted slower posterization, let's say one frame every 24, that's going to be a lot different looking. See, it takes one snapshot every 24, which is a completely different effect. Or if I want it to be pretty fast, let's say I go all the way up to 16 instead, this is going to look a lot more jittery almost like there's nothing wrong with the video but there's a little bit of trail so earlier today i played around with the cool combo with this i just did around six and on top i even stacked a quick channel blur effect which is in the blur and sharpen video folder i dragged that on there stacked it on top and just increased the blurriness of the red channel repeat edge pixels just to clean up the sides and set it to something like horizontal for a little bit of a extra flair and we create almost a RGB red green blue split echo which almost reminds me of something I've seen in a Kanye West music video. Next up that's a pretty cool one you can play around with it we have a kind of glitch mosaic pixel stretch blend so just like the first one, we're going to utilize Premiere Pro's blending effects by duplicating the original clip on top of each other. That's kind of the central theme of this video almost. Now on this top stack layer, let's search for the mosaic effect. It's in the stylized video effects folder and let's click and drag it onto that top clip. Now normally you might use this to perhaps pixelize someone's face, but if we head over to the effects control panel, we can see we can adjust the horizontal blocks and the vertical block amount. So right now it's 10 and 10, but if I increase one disproportionately larger than the other, so 800 or 1000 horizontal blocks, we get this really unique stacking pixel stretch effect, which I have a tutorial on my channel about a different way to pixel stretch if you want to check it out. But I'll lower the vertical blocks to maybe four or three. Now I do want to turn on sharp colors to really get that sharp, glitchy, techy look. And now I can just set this to a blending mode of just like before, screen or something like that. And we have this cool glitchy reflection that's going on that might look cool in some sort of music video compilation. Uh, it almost has like a sunny, warm vibe to it for some reason, maybe because of the reflection. And you can adjust 
perhaps the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks to be just one for kind of one solid glitch reflection. Or you could go with more vertical stacks, splitting things for a more glitchy feel. The same way we did this horizontal, we can make it disproportionately vertical by just kind of flipping the ratio there and increasing the vertical blocks a lot and the horizontal blocks low. So that gives a, another alternative for this effect. But that's a really cool glitchy mosaic effect. Again, you can play around with the opacity, the blending mode. I'm using screen because I like screen, but perhaps things will look different on overlay or soft light or even more crazy on something like difference. So possibilities are pretty endless for both of these. Next up for the third one, we have a light leak, like a custom light leak based on the colors in the actual video. So let's search for an effect called eyedropper fill. This is in the generate video effects folder and drag this again onto a copy of the original clip. So what this does is takes an eyedropper pinpoint to by default the middle of the clip or 960 by 540 is the sample point and it fills the entire image with whatever color was on that point. So you can see in this case it's kind of brown, light brown from that piece of wood so it's filling the entire image with black. But if I move over a little bit it might quickly flash to different colors like in the same color range or family white, brown, orange, red, even a little bit of purple because at those moments in the frame when I'm moving the camera around the center of the image is probably a different color. So we can utilize this kind of weird effect to generate some interesting abstract light leaks. It's almost as if you didn't have really good vision or you couldn't see anything except the lights flashing in front of you of a scene. So there's many ways I can imagine using this on its own. It just looks kind of cool and interesting. But again, if you set the blending mode of that to screen, as we've been doing for every single effect so far, it almost creates a custom flashing light leak that you could perhaps fade in or out of image as a transitional tool or a stylization during certain sequences of your video. So coming up on our fourth out of five effect, this one is not gonna be blended with screen. We're gonna actually create a prism effect by looking for the replicate effect in the stylized folder. So let's click and drag that. We can do this directly on the clip this time. And what this does is it creates replications. So by default, it's set to two counts. You can make it three count, four count, five count. This is a cool, interesting effect on its own. But if we keep it at two count, we can actually play around with blending things with masks. So masks are in the later, newer versions of Premiere Pro if you don't see them. But let's generate a square mask here and it's just telling Premiere only show this effect within this blue bounding box by default a square. We can expand the mask by pulling on these points but in this case I'm just going to keep it in the center and use the mask expansion tool to expand things out almost to cover up the entire middle. I'm also going to use the mask feather to really feather things out except I don't want it to be in the middle. I want to actually invert things so these reflections are coming up out of the edges but the middle stays intact. So this will create a sort of five duplication mosquito or bug eye uh, prism effect. This is something that I see a lot in photography work where perhaps a hold a piece of glass or plastic in front of the lens to create a split prism and that was the inspiration for me creating this effect but you can use it in whatever abstract way you want. So the next and final effect that we can create is a quick comic book style look. So let's go to the effects panel and find one called checkerboard. This is in the generate video effects folder and I can actually click and drag this directly on top of the clip to generate a black and white checkerboard. You can adjust the size of the checkerboard by increasing the width and let's make it relatively small to simulate a half tone type of pattern. If you want to take a closer look or a bigger look at your program window, you can always double click on it here, open things up a little bit bigger. But we want to overlay or blend this on and 
lucky for us, this happens to be a feature right in this effect. They have a blending mode option. So let's set it to something like soft light or overlay. See which one you like better. Overlay is a bit more contrasted. And then we want to add one more effect called posterize. So unlike the posterize time effect, which strips down the frames into only a certain amount, there's also a posterize effect in the stylize video folder, which strips down the colors into a certain amount of layers. So for example, this is posterizing it to two, three, four, five, six, and this kind of creates a little bit more of that comic book feel. Let's keep it right around seven or eight. And it basically, by applying that half tone-ish pattern with a little bit of posterization, it can suggest sort of a comic book feel. So that's a, another interesting creative effect that I've come up with or play around with. So those are five different, unique, awesome video effects that you can create in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to the channel. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. And go follow me on social media at Justin O'Dea Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter to stay up to date with me. I'm actually in the process of creating an effects preset pack to try to maybe package some stuff like this together in one solid pack for me to have available on my web store. So stay tuned with me there to get updates on that or see if it's out yet by the time you watch this. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.